yew tree are going down to the basement. Good morning. Good morning. It's Friday. It is a Friday. Making coffee, looking sharp. So I'm trying. Watch out, Kutch. So sharp. Just a regular day. Watching, uh, do it on a den. Hey, pal. How's it going? Yeah, I hate pits too. It's fine. It's fine. Char's drinking some water. And I am heating up some loaded potato soup for lunch. It is more tasty than it looks, promise. I am totally digging this spoon, by the way. Super funny. Hey guys, so the vlog kind of got away from me today. I cut basically the entire day and did a bunch of orders. So really good news for work-wise, not such good news for the vlog. But I thought I would sit down and talk about New Year's goals. So for the longest time, I would make resolutions and obviously not stick with them because that's what resolutions are good for. But I've decided to think of it more as like goal setting, like New Year goal setting rather than resolutions because I find that I can stick with that a little bit better. And we have quite a few goals and things for our businesses. Alex and I sat down, as you guys saw in yesterday's vlog, we sat down and had this like big meeting where we talked about where we see Oh Hello Stationery going and where we see Oh Hello Promo going and we wrote it all down. And then we're gonna schedule meetings to specifically target certain goals. But I wanted to talk about my personal goals because maybe you guys have some suggestions for me or what have you. Also, my hair is like nuts today. Mm. So I'm using the 52 list project book I got for Christmas because the first week is all about your goals. So I'm gonna tell you what mine are and maybe you guys can help me figure out some more specific ones because I've noticed that like there's stuff I wanna do but I, I have a really hard time like setting it as a goal because then I feel like super accountable for it and that makes me anxious so I don't set the goal at all. So I'd rather set them and be okay with not reaching it fully, I don't know, whatever, okay. So I want to do at least 10 board game YouTube videos so full-fledged like walk through the game give my thoughts of it show it in action it's a gonna be a big undertaking because it's a different filming style than I've done before but you guys seem super interested in these types of videos when I talked about it on my main channel during my what I got for Christmas video so I'm like super excited to do it because you guys actually want to see it but I want to um do at least 10 of them and talk about board games, whether or not it's like specific ones or doing like my top five favorite games if you want to get into more indie board games or my top five favorite games for parties, that sort of thing. So it's on my to-do list. And then I also want to take photos for a year in review. So the funny thing is I take a ton of photos. I have a couple of freelance jobs I do photos for. I take photos for Oh Hello. I take photos for my blog, but I don't really take photos of like my life for just me and Alex. So I'm trying to do more of that so I can make like a photo album book at the end of the year, like a Shutterfly book. I did one for this year and it became pretty obvious that I did not have that many photos. So I wanna make it a goal to take more photos, which goes into the next like goal on my list, which is actually Alex's idea. He wants to do like a monthly photo adventure, whether or not it's like tied with an activity or if we just decide like we're going to photograph like do drops or whatever we want to do photography just for the sake of photography not for work so i thought that was a really good goal and then my last one the most serious of the goals is to own more plants you know you gotta have obtainable goals on your list to make the other one seem also equally obtainable but i love plants i'm getting into that boho vibe as you guys have seen which some rooms can't do that like this room is more like Nantucket beach house, which I like. I like that you can go from room to room in our house and get a different feel. And at first I was having a hard time with that. I was trying to make our living room more like um, modern and like, don't know what, clean, crisp. And that room just wants to be more eclectic. And so I'm, I'm shifting a little bit more and I think plants are going to be a really fun way to uh, Add a little bit of life. Uh, I am pretty good at taking care of them, which is nice. There's a couple plants that like are particular, but I like taking care of them. So I want more plants. So hopefully 
I can convince Alex that we need more than what we already have because it's getting kind of crazy. But those are my goals so far, just personal ones. Uh, I want to do more gratitude journaling and all that stuff, but I don't know if I necessarily want them as goals. These are kind of more like things that are going to bring me joy or projects. So if you have any suggestions for me, that'd be great. I don't know. Okay. Well, I'm actually waiting for Lauren, my best friend, maid of honor, awesome person, the one that moved to China when we were in high school. We've known each other for like 14 years. Um, she was the one that filmed all of these really dumb videos. Like before YouTube existed, I was basically making YouTube videos. So I have all this footage, very embarrassing footage that eventually one day I'll probably show you guys some of it, but she's in all of them and she, um, is studying to be a doctor so I don't get to see her very often and we happen to be able to see each other twice well I've already seen her once before Christmas and then she's coming any minute now and we're gonna go have Mexican food and just hang out and my parents want to see her again because obviously she's been in my life for 14 years she's been in my parents life equally as long and uh, I think my parents are very thankful for her to uh, have made me not as weird, like I actually had a friend, so I wasn't just this weird kid in my uh, bedroom just typing like novels on my computer. I wrote so many stories as a kid. I was weird. Maybe I should do a video of like Kayla, the younger years, if you guys care. I don't know if you do. This is five minutes now, long now. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go see you at Mexican food. I think I've fully grown to love this rug. Still wish our couches were a bit darker, but that's on the, uh, the agenda for 2018. But this little guy is always sleeping in this corner. Hey, handsome. I'm gonna touch your toes. You. Yeah. So Lauren's here. Hi. <laughs> and we're setting up to play photosynthesis for the first time. We Gallifrey looks like the fourth player. He looks like a sphinx. Like it's weird. Ask him what tree you have. Oh Maybe yeah. They... What type of tree do I have? So. What other trees do we have? We have a blue spruce. Blue spruce. We have an oak. And a we maple. Know. We have a maple because it's the whirly bird seed. And then I have this one. But your seed we don't know. Is it another maple? I won't focus. Or some conifer of... My mom saw this, this in the picture and thought it was a star fruit. She's like, that's a star fruit. I'm like, no, mom. What type of tree are these? We could look it up, but we also we think know you we guys. We don't know. It's a brand yeah, new game. We don't Honestly, know. it's a new new game. Like, so we are uh, setting it up and getting ready to play. So far, this game is freaking amazing. Definitely going to be included in our board game reviews coming up. It's like a more fun chess. It's pretty. It's engaging. It has. Gr it goes great with epic soundtracks. For sure. Mysterious. So we finished photosynthesis. Super close game. Super close. Lost by I won. technicality points. I won. And now we're playing my favorite co-op game. We've already played it once and now Lauren's trying to be ghost. She gave me a dream that means literally nothing to me. <laughs> it's a person with a frog. I would say Toy Maker. Toy Maker is what it, the vibes I get. But we'll we'll see. Another game that we will be reviewing. So if you have any requests for videos on board games you yeah, want to review. Yeah, if you guys have any board games that you're like, I don't know if I want to, because they're 50 bucks for like a real yeah. nice one. Yeah, and we have the Let expansion of this one too. Because we have a weak spot for board games. If it's um, an excuse to buy it for yeah. research. Or if we have one that we've talked about and you're like, I don't know how to play it, let me know. We can hook that so up. So the two games we're playing tonight are definitely on the list. Yeah, for they're sure. unique, different, they're not for everyone. Nope. This one I would say is a little more for everyone. This is more family friendly. Like, there's nothing really super scary about but it. But it's not in Monica. It's not a party game. No. It's a board game. It's like you can play it with younger people. Like you Saying can... it right now, best party game, Monikers. Monikers for yes. sure. Hands down. Lauren agrees. The ghost has spoken. Yeah. 